Coming up, Early Childhood App. Hi, my name is Ashley Rokey and this is iPads in the Classroom from Tech Edge. And today I'm going to talk about some early childhood apps that we've already talked about before, but I'm going to zoom in on how they are useful for early childhood. So the first app that I'm going to talk about is Learn with Homer. Um, and in this app, specifically, um, you can use it to help students learn to read. Um, but there's also several other options, and that's why I like this app, because there's several things that you could do with students. Um, and so let's take a look at the reading aspect. Learn to read. And what's nice about this app as well is you can create multiple profiles, so you could have a profile for each student on here. And you can see that I've already completed lesson one, but I'll go show you what that's like. Hey, I'm Millie Monkey. Today, we're going to learn about the sound ah. Can you tap the alligator? Great job! Ah is the first sound you hear in alligator. But so ah it talks about this letter sound and it gives you ah. ideas of, ah. or specific examples of what has this sound. So alligator and the word mad. And it could be at the beginning and the middle of a word. Okay, so you just click on that and it won't let you just skip through. You have to do, it walks you through step by step. And it shows you how to make that sound with your mouth. It's your turn to say ah. Uh, tap the green button to record. And then you have the option to hear yourself make the sound. So, ah. Uh, then you can hear yourself to see if you're making the sound correctly. Ah can be made by the letter A, uppercase A. So it goes through different um, series of working with that sound. And after you complete each lesson, you get a little reward as like a poem, for example. Poems are one way a writer can share ideas and feelings. And they are almost all so you can select read to me or read it um, yourself. That just depends on how advanced the student is, whether they can read it or they need it read to them. In the heart of a seed, buried deep, so deep. And there is text to go along with the audio. Okay, and so then you can move on to the next lesson. Um, we'll go back and explore the other options. There's brain games. And I already completed one and that's the other nice thing is they're locked so you have to complete one before you can move on to the next so you can't just choose whichever one you would like. Will you help Tut reach the ice cream sandwich? I'll say a color. Tap the right ice pop and Tut will move closer to his treat. Blue. So this is helping students with their colors. That's right. Green. Can you great green? Way to go. Yellow. Okay. Can you and as you can see, there's just several options to use with students. It's not uh, one thing, so it doesn't get repetitive and boring for the student, and it teaches them a lot. The next app that I'm going to talk about is Epic. And I know I've talked about this before, but I'm specifically going to focus on how you can use this with early childhood. So um, I have my teacher profile, and it'll ask me to log in. And when you sign up for Epic, you're going to have to sign up for a teacher profile, or you can just um, sign up for your child or your student. And this takes a while to access all the books. Um, and then you can see that I have my students under my teacher profile. So I'm going to select Ashley here and switch to that profile. And when you create a new profile for each student, it's going to ask you how old they are. Um, so they will choose age appropriate text. It'll automatically um, filter that for you. So I'm going to do 
five. And then you can select, or you can even have your students do this, um, what topics interest you? So what types of books would you like to read? And I would encourage them to select multiple so they have a wide variety um, to choose from. So I'll do adventure, living things, science. Um, and you can narrow it even more. So we'll do exploration, pets, and wild things. Okay, and once you select those, it will come up with books that are age appropriate for the age that you selected and the categories that you chose. And then you see it's also um, split up based on read to me. So this gives you the option for the student to hear it and follow along. So let's do Diggy. The driver climbs in. Diggy turns on. And you see it's just like flipping the pages of a real book. The scoop goes down. The dirt goes up. The dirt falls out. Down, up, out. Down, okay. up, out. And it'll show you the progress that you've made so far in the book. And you can adjust brightness for your students. And you can see, just scrolling through here, that all, how many books you have to choose from. So this is very nice, because even though you limited it to three categories, there's still a huge amount of books. And the best part about it is they're all free. So this would be a great use um, to teach reading with early childhood. So today, I talked more in depth about two apps that are great to use in early childhood education and I'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom.